Now the vehicle we have before us today has a very rich heritage, starting with the 1986 Acura Legend and through to the Acura RL. Hi, I'm Mark Boyagis with IHS Automotive, and this 2014 Acura RLX has now taken that spot of Acura's North American sedan flagship, as well as Honda's flagship sedan worldwide. Now with 2014, the vehicle gets a full redesign, gets a couple new very interesting technologies, both on the safety side as well as the infotainment side, to help differentiate it from other full-size sedans in the class. Now clearly, this vehicle still is not going to compete with the luxury boats of S-Class, A8, and 7 Series, but I think it makes a considerable stance above what the RL was doing in previous years. Let's take a look inside to see what Acura has done with this new RLX. Now starting off with entertainment, the RLX has a rich, diverse offering of sources that you can play through its audio system, from broadcast to broad-end media. First and foremost, I want to highlight Pandora. Uh, you simply pair up a Bluetooth phone, and if you have the Pandora app, it will integrate, and you can search all your different stations, genres, etc., thumb up, thumb down, make new stations, it's all very easy and integrated into the system. Now, on top of that, it also has AHA radio with a, a rich variety of up to 30,000 different content channels, uh, including things like Slacker and other radio content offerings. In addition, on the broadcast side, we have AM, FM, and XM. Of course, Sirius XM brings in uh, over, over 150 different uh, channels of content, but on top of that, with FM and AM, we now have HD radio. The Acura RLX is the first vehicle of the, the lineup to get HD radio offering. Now, in terms of broadened media, you have a selection of bringing in your phone for Bluetooth audio. Uh, you can bring in a USB thumb drive and plug it in. If you have an iPod, plug that in through the USB, and that allows for song by voice, uh, so it's a nice, easy search function. And then, on top of that, there is still a disc. Uh, there's a single disc drive uh, which offers DVD audio capability if you really want to get the rich experience of the surround sound or a simple CD for recording to the 16 gigabyte hard drive. Now all of these sources can be run through the Corel Premium Audio System with 14 speakers and 450 watts. Corel Audio is a brand you may not recognize for car audio since they previously have only played in home theater systems. Now, the ELS audio system comes standard, which we thought, pre previous to hearing this Krell audio system, was the best in the market. Now, we think that the Krell audio has bested even that. Uh, the highs are so clear, the lows are nice uh, and balanced, and, and overall, whether you're listening to something uh, off of HD radio or an integrated DVD audio, uh, it's a really good representation of the sound. Now for the RLX in 2014, they did a complete redesign of the interior as well. And, in, and most notably, Acura has focused on a simple and intuitive human-machine interface, or HMI. Now in many cases we agree it is simple and intuitive, but in some we don't. I'm going to first start off with some of the pros. So for example, we have this great twin display design with an 8-inch display up top that is controlled uh, majority through this, uh, this rotary controller and buttons down here, as well as a seven inch uh, uh, touchscreen display with haptic interface. Gives a nice force feedback when you touch the, the screen. Now on top of that, they've redesigned the steering wheel controls, and we actually like the steering wheel controls. These, these uh, rotary control knobs are nice for uh, uh, raising and lowering the volume. On the left side, it actually allows for toggling uh, back and forth for, uh, for different uh, tracks or audio uh, functions uh, uh, on the screen. Um, and in addition, there's not a whole lot going on here. You know, you've got your cruise control functions here and your audio control and source functions here. There's no integration for nav, but that's, that's okay because the controller down here and the touchscreen is, is pretty good and intuitive. Now, the 2014 RLX is the first Acura of the entire brand lineup to get an embedded cellular communication system called AcuraLink. AcuraLink's a brand they've had before for real-time traffic and, and the such, but now they've expanded it to a full telematic system. The onboard system is accessed either through this AcuraLink uh, communications up here in the overhead console for either link uh, functions or assist if you're in emergency uh, uh, need, or you can access some of the message functions uh, through the, the center screen. Now what I want to mention is <laughs> there's inconsistencies. There were some other instances when we were using it where it would go, it would get to the point where it asks us for our POI, and then it would completely die on us and hang up. So there's some bugs that they need to work out internally. However, there is a godsend in their mobile apps. The mobile app integration that they have on smartphones is really streamlined. 
Now in the smartphone app we can access most of the functionality and we really like the clean design of the UI. First of all, you can access a selection of different features by this little kind of plus function. It gives you access to the remote keyless entry. Uh, you can do door and lock, door lock, horn and lights, and flashlights. You go to the other function. You can check your diagnostics. And of course, there's a little bit of standby here. We can get information on the, the status of the, the vehicle headlights, the engine, the tire pressure, door lock status, even the fuel information, all right on the, the AccuraLink app. Furthermore, diagnostics, or excuse me, this is the maintenance. You can connect up with your dealer and uh, uh, create a, a main, and set up a, a maintenance appointment. You see, find a dealer nearby. Go through, check any AccuraLink messages that might be on the system. These would be quick tips, uh, maintenance notifications, uh, you know, warnings about uh, things coming up. Uh, it could be some recalls, general diagnostic info. Um, and then lastly, on this little selection, you can go to your owner's manual. It's nice, you can download the PDF. Uh, the problem is in a lot of other apps, it's just kind of integrated into the system. Uh, but it's still nice that you have that access through the application. Furthermore, if you want, you go into this uh, and you can get your vehicle status. Here it actually shows how many miles I have on the car. The fuel, it's another kind of viewpoint of this. Uh, and then you can access these other remote functions this way. Again, a very clean design. Uh, here's the, the profile information about the vehicle and my package settings. Roadside assistance, if I've got a flat tire, I can access that. And then lastly, and most importantly, the maps function. It brings up a Bing map and you can search your, your, your location, search function, or excuse me, search POIs or addresses and send them directly to the car. So if I go in here, and if I search something like Starbucks, it's a Starbucks, all right, I want to select this one. More info. I can simply press send a car. Destination sent to the vehicle. And then the next time I get in the vehicle, that destination will be ready for me to accept and uh, put directly into the navigation system. Now the 2014 RLX is massively comfortable. And after a hard day's work, this vehicle will actually lower your heartbeat as you get into it to drive. And some of this is because of the great suspension and tuning. Uh, the all-wheel steering is nice for giving this long wheelbase car a great turning radius. But other technologies like the lane keeping assist system and the adaptive cruise control system allow you to set it at 65 miles an hour in a certain distance and turn on the lane keep assisting to keep you in the lanes as you drive home. The vehicle literally will keep you in the lanes by steering without any input for you for up to 20 or so seconds. It would allow you to text message. We don't recommend it, but even at that, the system's got an integrated text message function for that and, uh, on top of that. Plus, we have a blind spot detection system for as you're driving to detect vehicles in the lanes beside you so you avoid a collision. And the jewel eye headlamps are really great for visibility at night. We've got 20 LEDs up front, eight on either side for the low beams and two additional for the high beams. Great visibility and something that looks pretty badass on the road. Now overall, this 2014 RLX is very competitive against things like the Volvo S80, the Lincoln MKS, and the Infiniti M. We don't think, however, that Acura has a chance of going up against the LS, the, the Audi A8, or the Mercedes S-Class simply because it doesn't come with a V8, it doesn't come with standard navigation, and some of the other standard accoutrement. Yet, we really like this vehicle. For starting at 48,450, the RLX comes with standard features like an ELS audio system, Bluetooth integration with Pandora and SMS text messaging, the dual screen technology that we saw before, as well as, uh, as, well as the jewel eye headlights, which give a nice, great design for the front end. However, up the additional $2,000 for the NAF package and an additional $1,500 for the Krell Audio, and we really have a great flagship sedan that blends in a lot of the technologies for safety as well as for entertainment purposes. For more on this and other IHS Automotive reviews, go to IHS.com automotive or subscribe to our YouTube page.